Long before the days of massive interstates and strip malls, neon signs, and fast food franchises, finding ways to advertise was a challenge. And in the 1930s, a couple in Georgia hit upon an idea to draw visitors to their small business atop Lookout Mountain. Sea Rock City had arrived. It started as a vision between Garnet and his wife, Frida Carter, um, who came to Lookout Mountain, uh, Georgia, and Lookout Mountain, Tennessee, to uh, really think about developing a higher-end resort uh, residential community uh, that was kind of a halfway point between um, Florida and New York. Frida Carter had been uh, using this 15-acre preserve uh, at the time as just a place to cultivate her own love of gardening, her own love of nature. Um, and about that time, her husband, who was a genius marketer, thought, I think we should invite people to come and, and enjoy what we've created for ourselves over the past few years. Uh, advertising, you know, had limited uh, mediums. Um, Garnet Carter had created pamphlets and flyers and, uh, you know, booklets about uh, the site. Um, but it wasn't until he uh, interacted with uh, a man named Clark Byers um, and decided to paint slogans like Sea Rock City or when you see Rock City, you see the best uh, on the tops of barns along the back roads of America uh, that, that guests really started to come uh, in volume to Sea Rock City. 